Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. It's me, Beer Stud. Uh, those of you who don't know, uh, two weeks ago I picked up this used uh, Matco 4S toolbox. I uh, got it at a great price. I, I, I couldn't turn it down. I did clean it up. I used to have stickers all around here I thought I had the, the humble mechanics toolbox there for a while uh, other as you can see it's not rusted out it's not dented I mean, yeah you got a few scratches but I can live with it uh, the top this is nothing more than just cardboard. I think they painted like a, a texture paint. I think I'm going to just replace it and probably just go to a home improvement shop and just put a kind of like the butcher block wood on top. Uh, it did add a power supply so I can charge stuff up. I think this I got this at a uh, Northern Tool. I think five bucks in their little bargain bin, and believe it or not, it is marked Toolbox Power Supply. Um, again, no dents. Again, not rusted. Uh, I did look up online from the Maco website. I think it was a new old stock of the same exact model. I think brand new is less than four thousand dollars. To me that's a little pricey, but I know the one that has two large drawers like this is a little less than six grand. But I like it so far. Now the green, it's off a little bit compared to my Snap-on tool cart. But again, I got a great price. You know, all I can say is I don't even have two, nowhere near two thousand dollars invested in this thing yet. But my here's my top drawer, my biggest drawer. I end up putting my sockets, my impacts, you know, between quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. Again, my impacts. Here's my impact gun up here, my torque sticks, my little odds and ends of stuff, spare battery. Again, I'm not going to go over all the size individual tool tool brand and all that all I can say is over half of these are SK the rest is made up between as you see Armstrong Mac Craftsman even got a where is it Mustang brand you know something that was made back in the 60s Still works like a champ. Again, I, I like the big drawer. Uh, again, I just plan on using this mainly for my standards. Using my tool, my little tool cart for my metric tools. And just kind of like my all around, all around cart. Again, since I don't have a wide drawer like this, I end up putting my wrenches in the two drawers. As you can see, like I said, it's a mixture. See Snap-on, you see SK. Right here you'll see my 
Blackhawks. You know, some are missing. Kind of just to fill in some of my cobalts. You know, just my odds and ends. I just don't really have a heart to throw away a tool. Just can't do it. Here I got my plier drawer. Here's what I have so far. And I'm between, again, SK, channel lock brand, a little lock box. Again, it is. I need to get a plier organizer. There, here's my screwdriver drawer. As you see, my picks, my short and long, my only one nut driver, here's my Torx, I had to put this in here, because when you read, focus, this says this is not a pry bar. I didn't want to use it as a pry bar and void the warranty and end up with another contract and payments. I decided just I'll stick it with the screwdrivers. Here's my pry bar drawer, my little persuasion. Need a little oomph. See. See, here's my Mac little pry bar. As you see, no warning. Figure it's still safe enough to use as a pry bar for me. Here's my God of Thunder drawer. Uh, I know I need to get some more different styles, but that's a work in progress. You know, so far this this setup has worked for me. Uh, I got this drawer is empty, along with this drawer. As you can see, all I really did was I when I cleaned it, had like dust and dirt and filth. I just end up taking the uh, Armor All and spraying it and cleaning it up. It works. Uh, as you see, that's. I didn't clean these yet. But as you can see, that's what it looked like before. That's where I keep my fluke, my uh, brake tools. This is my drunk drawer so far. Uh, some of the tool holders. Kind of put on pause or retire. I just haven't quite want to get rid of them yet. A little label maker. As you see, my first aid kit. Spare gloves. A ratchet strap for the, to for the dump truck. Uh, all together. That's a nice box. Uh, I'd really like to know what your theory, your feelings on is. If you used to buy another box, would you go with a used box? That's high quality, or would you go with a brand new box and finance it, or pay a big hefty cash? Or would you go to like a do-it-yourself center or Harbor Freight and get one? You know, I really like to know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. 
as always, take care. Have a nice day and also have a safe one.